Let's just get into it, I guess. I don't really need to wear these, do I? So, everybody knows about Mixer, right? Everybody knows that they've been a community. Um, they've been a stream. They've been a streaming platform for four years. Um, back when they started with the Beam days, because they were Beam at the time. Um, I remember everybody was like always talking about how like they were like the biggest uh, thing, right? Like back then, back at that time. And um, it's cool because like you know, it's it's, it's something new to try. You know, it's always, like, one of those things, you know, don't knock it till you try it type of things, you know? Um, and that's how, like, that's how uh, Mixer was to me when it was Beam. Because I thought it was pretty cool, like, you know, oh, there, there's something that's trying to compete with Twitch. You know, that's cool. But then, you know, Facebook tried doing the same thing, right? And it's just, it, it was kind of dumb that Facebook's even doing live streaming. Um, so, my opinion with the whole Mixer shutting down thing, right? It sucks. It really does because there's a lot of ki there's a lot of creators out there who stream for people's entertainment, and you know that can happen anywhere. But also with Mixer, Mixer also um, drew like they they brought in a lot of people as well at the time, and they and they still were too. And um, what sucks about Mixer though is the partners. From what I was told, the partners didn't even get no, like they didn't they didn't even get told the news, um, in advance. They were told as soon as, um, everybody was told. And uh, from what I was told by a a, re a streamer who's streaming on Twitch now because of Mixer shutdown, um, even the staff team of Mixer didn't even know they were shutting down, um. So that just that kind of gives off a weird vibe there. Um, but yeah, you would have thought like the like the partners on Mixer would have gotten a notific like a notification or email or something two months in advance before um, the just the other creators who aren't partnered, right? But they didn't. You know, I'm not gonna like say Mixer was a bad site. I've because I streamed on there quite a bit. Um, I had almost 600 followers. I was like 40 away. I had like 560. So I was pretty close. Um, I, I personally quit streaming on there because Twitch just felt like a better, um, community for me, I guess. It felt like, I don't know, cause I, I started with Twitch. So I guess for me, starting with Twitch, it just felt more right to be with Twitch. Um, and then for the people that started with Mixer, they want to stay with Mixer. They don't want to go to Twitch. And, um... It's people that stream on Mixer today do not want to go to Twitch because they think Twitch has the most dumbest standards, the most dumbest guidelines, and and they've had that same thought before they streamed on Mixer. So for them to change their mind over the last few years wouldn't happen. It's, I mean, obviously. And I, I tried Mixer many different times. The first few months was all right because, you know, I started back when I was 16 on, on Beam. So Mixer's been around for six years. Yeah, Mixer's been around for six years. Holy crap. I thought it was four. No, it, it was six. But because I streamed GTA a lot and Destiny and uh, I streamed on Mixer. Yeah, it's, it's sad. I don't feel bad for the site shutting down. I feel bad for the creators who had it who don't even have a choice to give up their partnership. And, you know, people want to say on Facebook like the, like the, the the mixer community wants to tell you they're partnering with Facebook. So if you lose your partnership, so when you lose your partnership on Mixer, you'll get it on Facebook. But not many people want to go to Facebook. Facebook was never really meant to be a streaming site. It was more for just um, like posting and all that stuff. Like just posting on social media like Twitter and all that stuff. That's what it was meant for. 
so I kind of saw Mixer going down that road. To be fair. But not many people did. So I'm I'm glad I stayed with Twitch. I'm glad I didn't start. I'm, I'm glad I didn't stay with Mixer to get a big following and then lose it. You know what I mean? So I'm glad I stay with Twitch, even though I have a really small following and I don't get many people watching my streams. Um, you know, it's kind of got to do what you got to do at this point, you know. But like I said, it sucks for everyone else because they worked really hard to get that partnership. Um, they spent many ways trying to make sure everyone was entertained and was happy with the content and everything. And then just to like basically say, well, guess what, dude? You just lost your partnership. Uh, that, that would definitely suck. But, and yeah, that's just my opinion on it. Every, like I said, everyone has their opinion. Some people are happy about it. Some people are upset about it. I'm upset, but for the creators. That's my, that's just me. Other than that, I really don't care that the site shuts down. Um, it didn't affect me either way. So, it don't really bother me in that aspect. But I do feel bad for the other creators that works really hard to get their partnership that have to lose it. But what's cool, though, is the people that lost their partnership that went to Twitch, they instantly got their affiliate or partnership in, like, um, two to three days or two to five. So that really worked out for them. So they can still do their full-time streaming on Twitch. They might have a smaller following, but they still are able to stream every single day and still make a profit out of that and still be happy doing with, with what they're doing, which is awesome. So, I mean, the smaller following does suck, yes, but in reality, they're still happy they can stream and still make a living out of it and still uh, entertain people. That That's awesome. That's why I'm happy about it. Um, now, I don't really care that the Twitch, I mean, Twitch, I don't really care that the Mixer site's closing down. I really don't. But I streamed on Mixer not too long ago, like 10 minutes ago, just saying, um, you know, follow me on Twitch because I'm not streaming on here anymore, especially when I can't. Um, so just to follow me on Twitch. And if they don't follow me on Twitch, that's their loss because I there's no other way for me to get in uh, contact with the people that I have uh, or talk with the people that I've met on uh, Mixer. So, teach the round, I guess. But yeah, so I might go live here on Twitch in a few minutes again. I don't know what I'll be streaming. I want to stream Mario Sunshine again because it, 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 the game is fun. I haven't streamed that game in about two months, I think. So, we'll see, I guess. But for now, I think that's it. So, yeah. I think I went a whole entire stream without cursing. I think I've went a whole entire. This is pretty because it's gonna be a video at this point with no editing. So I went a whole video without cursing. Can it get recommended now? But yeah, if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, the link is in the description below. You guys can follow me on Twitch. I stream there all the time. So if you guys want to catch me on there. Let's do it. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or this live. And if you guys did, please hit that uh, like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.